to get a job in the market didn't take that much time actually. I didn't find uh, so many um, possibilities that were very close to, to my background. And then uh, and I sent applications for them and I got offers to, for an interview from uh, almost all of them. De har et engagement, som jo også kommer af, at de har en lang uddannelse. Det er ikke givet, men det er ofte sådan, at en, en højt uddannet vil være i stand til at engagere sig og være i stand til at, ligesom at tage opgaverne med sig og med hjem. Sådan at vi øh, har en, en, øh, at der er en ejersk, et ejerskab over for de opgaver, de står med, som gør, at de øh, engagerer sig ud over den her normale 8-16. Og det er det, som en Ph.D. eller en højt uddannet kan være oftest god til. Jeg synes, vi egentlig også er gode til at, at sørge for, at de her medarbejdere, de, eller de spotter ligesom, om de har den her almenhed, som jo også gør, at de selv er i stand til at kunne finde opgaver. Der er rigtig mange opgaver i de fleste organisationer. Det er bare et spørgsmål om, hvor, hvor mange skyklaver man har på. This type of challenge was, uh, was not something that I was assigned. It was uh, a type of challenge that, that that came out of a, of, a, of a problem that we found due to our, our expertise. We were only supposed to, to build a, a reliable software for the analysis of uh, food products. The design was not fully uh, taught to the purpose. So we had, some, uh, we had to, to develop uh, either software solutions to overcome those minor issues, but issues that would spoil the, the outcome. One of them uh, was appealing and it was the most, uh, the most interesting one actually, the one where my background fit the most. This one in here was actually about uh, applying physics, physics knowledge. A guy who had the background in high energy physics especially one with the background from experimental high energy physics can do almost anything. The type of signals that you are required to extract are so tiny and so complicated that you need to cope with it for four years, 24-7 of your life. And then when you come to to, to do research and development in the private sector, you, you don't have to change that much finally. <laughs>